When you think of Turnberry, it evokes memories of Tom Watson locking horns with Jack Nicklaus in the 1977 Open Championship. This is a scintillating stretch of golfing land with a unique past. The third Marquis of Ilsa commissioned Willie Fernie to design the course in 1902 on land from the Killeen Estate. The Turnberry Lighthouse and the enigmatic Ailsa Craig watch silently over the links and provide one of the most iconic backdrops in all of golf. This hallowed land is thought to be the birthplace of King Robert the Bruce in 1274. It's a site that has seen a lot of history long before it became a golfing playground. Twice the Ailsa was remodelled as part of the war effort and became an air base during the two great wars. Both times the course nearly had to cease operations, but in 1951 it was redesigned by Mackenzie Ross. Bulldozers had been used to make way for the military airfield and, poetically, Ross used those same tools to rebuild the course into a modern Lynx masterpiece. This new layout became the making of Turnberry and, in 1977, it was awarded its first of four Open Championship. The jewel in the sun, as it became known, saw Watson and Nicholas battling for the claret jug in the golden summer light. This put the Ilsa on the world stage and Turnberry became a global golfing household name. The Open revisited in 1986 and again in 1994 but it would be a long wait until the next, in 2009, where Tom Watson almost recaptured former glory. The resort was bought by the Trump Organization in 2014, and they worked to re-establish Turnberry as one of the world's leading golf destinations. The illustrious resort recaptured its former glory with the help of another reimagining of the Ilsa. Under the expert eye of Martin Ebert, the course was significantly redesigned, with every hole changing in some way. Meandering through the high dunes and between punishing bunkers, Turnberry was designed to be both a test and a delight. Many even consider the latest version of the Ailsa to be the best golf course in the world. From the 4th to the 11th, the course meanders along the coastline edging ever closer to the iconic lighthouse. The standout holes happen around the turn. The 9th to the 11th have been transformed into arguably three of the world's greatest holes, which sit alongside one of golf's most unique halfway houses. Sitting alongside the Ilsa, the newly completed King Robert the Bruce course is a worthy consort. In fact, it's hard to think of a better 36 holes anywhere in the world. This is a golfing experience like no other. This is Turnberry.